G'day, Steve here, and I'm with an old mate, Mike Corbett, and he has been running, building, and racing Mini Cooper S's for a while. I can remember him talking about it when we were back working at another business. And uh, I'm here today to have a look at his uh, Mini. It's over to my shoulder there. There you did a little tickler just to the roof and so on. The engine's out of it at the moment. We'll um, talk to Mike and uh, have a more in-depth look. This is Mike. How are you going, Mike? How are you going? Good. Great to have a, come and have a look at the Mini. And I walked in and I've just spotted this on your bench straight away. This just looks magnificent. So what is it? It's um, A plus engine, um, 1275, taken out to 1330, running uh, MED uh, steel bottom end, uh, four bolt main, um, with full steel rods, cast Amiga piston, uh, forged, uh, sorry, pistons, uh, MED head, um, producing about 150 horsepower, uh, straight cut, close ratio box, um, with dog change. Wow. Sounds sounds awesome, sounds very impressive. As you can see, is Mike's done a lot of awesome work on this on this engine. The mini's pretty good too, but this is uh, this it's also is lovely. Dry decked. Okay, what's that mean? So that there's no water that goes from the, the block into the head. Right. Because with the normal A series, there's up to about 10 or 15 degrees difference between number one and number four. Right. Because it doesn't get enough water flow at the back end here. Uh -huh. So block the water flow from the block to the head. Right. And then just have one feed that comes in, the big hose from right there into the head. So wow. it pulls right the way down and it gets much more even burn temperature across the head. Wow. Okay. Do you, I'll put, do you want, the, the rockers are pretty... Okay, as well, yeah. as well. So it's a reduction drive starter, nothing like it ever had when it was new. Oh god, no. <laughs> no. And uh, so electronic ignition. The gearbox oil is actually in the in engine and gearbox oil are R as one. R as one. Yeah. But, uh, I've actually never really had much of a look at um, you know the actual Mini Cooper S engine and so on. Wow, look at that. So that's that's the Rocky Gear 1.5 ratio rollers but each one is held in its own cradle on both sides. Wow. So it's not supported on one side, it's got support for each rocker on both sides. Yeah. That is just lovely uh, set up. Obviously, uh, you buy it all out of the UK or? Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, that is lovely, Mike. And those ports look quite, um, yeah, it's fairly. Well, they're so, they're so large that yeah. for that rocker shaft, yeah. They actually have to sleeve it. Ah. Oh. You can oh. just, just see the sleeve. Yeah, in there. yeah, yeah. Don't know if you can see that on the camera or not, but yeah, there's a little, in here, there's a little sleeve just going down the edge of the port. Well, that's uh, fairly impressive. Not like the uh, the gentleman who originally designed the A, A, no. this is A series, isn't it? A series, yeah. A series Morris engine would never envisage the, what uh, what's happening to it. Now, that timing cover, where's that? That's. Yeah, it's just a, a billet timing cover just yeah. to help because um, they do leak a bit from yeah. there on the standard ones. Well, um, it wouldn't be Morris if it didn't leak. That's right. Yeah, yeah that's right. It's an anti-rust. Anti-rust devices are leaking, yeah. That's it. Well, yours is going to rust because it obviously won't leak enough. That's, so That's the trouble. Yeah. A uh, little alley um, radiator the, in the front of it there. And the diff, uh, sorry, the, the main shaft for the gearbox as well has a uh, another trunnion bearing at the other end as well. Right. So there's supports where the diff comes out on both sides of the diff. Yeah, okay. Because once you start getting lots of torque through, yep. you can start snapping the main main shaft wow. with the pinion on. So it has an extra support on that as well. Yeah. And then the gear linkage is from CAT out of the UK. Um, that will then, instead of the normal remote, that comes up and is inside the cockpit. So it gives more tunnel clearance as well. Okay. So most of the engine, most of the engine running parts are from MED in the UK. Yep. Um, and then some of the um, suspension and other components out of uh, CAD out of the UK. Wow. So the extractors are there. Are there a um, a known like you? Yep. There it's so in the UK. Okay. Manflow. Uh huh. And just had them ceramic coated locally. Uh huh. Just to keep some of the temperature out. Yeah. And what's the induction on it? Uh, Forty-five Weber. Obviously, larger uh, pulley on the alternator to keep the revs of the alternator down, as the engine would rev quite reasonably well. Up to about eight and a half. 
It's eight and a half, okay. Yeah. So that's the, well, that's, um, the 45 Weber. Yeah. It's a local Graham Russell engineering uh, manifold. Mm -hmm. And then just... As you can see, in. right down into the... No, I can't put enough light in there, but anyway, I can see right down to the butterfly up there. So that's just a 45 DC OE. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, nothing new about that. I mean, they've been around for 100 years, that's as we know. Right. And you basically put it all together yourself, Mike? And yeah, yeah, build it, build, build it all, maintain it all. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Wow. What events do you do, Mike? Um, these days mainly sprints, um, some of the six hours as well, six hour regularities. So you go to, say, Phillip Island? I tend to do more these days uh, over to Malala, uh, Winton and uh, Wakefield up in New South Wales. They're three very mini friendly circuits, a bit more fun. Mini friendly? Well, lots of ni nice twisty bits. Yeah, I suppose Phil Phillip Island's a bit long and straight. A bit long and more of a power circuit, yeah. down, two long straights and squiggly bit at each end. Yeah. There's something like winter and so forth, it's a bit more, uh, a bit more fun in a minute. Well, we need to come back when the engine's actually in the car, and um, probably when it's sitting on the ground ready to go to an event, it would be a good time to have a good bit more yeah. of a look. Of course, if you're going to go racing, you need something to take your car racing in. And Mike has this really lovely trailer here. And uh, Mike designed it, and another guy called Dennis Watson built it. And Dennis is quite famous in the motor racing world in Australia because he was one of the one of the people who was were Den Car, which built the Australian V8 supercars. But Dennis is a good friend of Mike's and mine, and he he actually fabricated this trailer for Mike. And it's a lovely setup. It's got the cone up here too. 
keep the front of the Mini all nice and guarded when he's um, no broken windscreens going to and from events, yeah. And it's uh, in a typical array as he's working on the car, so the trailer's uh, a storage bench. A storage bench, but you're pulling stuff out of the trailer to work on the car, I'm assuming, because that's what I was always, you all would be, always be doing. Yep. Yeah. No, that's yes, uh, And it's even in the correct, uh, Cutler, the correct Cutler colour. Cutler Yeah. No, that's a nice looking bit of, bit of gear, Mike.